Nothing like eating cheesecake before 11 a.m. I just finished filming a brain collab and now I get to eat this cheesecake. Wash it down with my morning coffee. Anyway, hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. I hope you are rested. I hope you are ready and excited for this next chapter of holidays. I certainly am. I feel so incredibly well rested. I took the last few days to really get planned and organized. I hope I don't have chocolate cheesecake all throughout my mouth while I'm filming this. Um, anywho, yeah, feeling so motivated and ready to go for this next month. I took the last several days to plan out my content for the month, um, what I'm going to be sharing for YouTube videos hopefully YouTube reels, Instagram shorts, and all of the above. So I do have my content figured out, mostly going to be uploading Tuesdays and Thursdays. I know Thanksgiving is on the Thursday, of, of course, so I might try to get a video up on Sunday that week. Just stay tuned. Make sure you are subscribed and have the notifications turned on. Um, if you guys do not follow on Instagram and do not receive those updates, that is uh, going to be your best bet to have notifications on. Um, today so what is on the agenda of course i made sydney's breakfast this morning uh so far the omni box is okay it's really convenient to have hot and cold in one area but i'm having a hard time figuring out how to keep the cold items cold without making the hot items cold um with an ice pack so i'm trying to put the ice pack on the left side where the cold items are so that it will avoid the thermos and hopefully that works out. Sydney's not complained at all yet, but I've noticed if I don't put the ice pack in, the items that are supposed to be cold are definitely not keeping, they're not staying cold and especially with hard boiled egg. Anywho, I do like it, but she cannot open the thermos. So it's kind of like a super convenient, like it, but not a necessary item type of thing. So that's where we're at. I have a sink full of dishes because of course I just filmed for a brand and it had to do with food. So I have to go ahead and do the dishes and then I have some errands to run. I got bottles to return, a return um, for Sydney. One of her Zara sweaters is just a little bit too short and I feel like it's just, she's just gonna be uncomfortable in it. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and return that. And then I want to pop over to my P.O. box. I haven't been so long and I've been getting notifications that things are being returned because I haven't been in so long. So yeah, just, just a, you know, a kind of a gathering our stuff, uh, running some errands. And then I am going to take, I know I didn't decorate a ton for fall, but I am going to go ahead and take some pumpkins and the fall things away and get things dusted and ready for decorating for Christmas very soon. I think I'll be decorating for Christmas, uh, within the next week. Or so you guys will probably see that I can't remember if I have it for like the 14th or whatnot stay tuned trying to be flexible but I hope you guys um, are, are doing well
And now I'm officially out of breath just putting on a coat and shoes and getting out the door. <laughs> I'm going to first head over to return the sweater at the post office and then check my P.O. box, which I'm honestly terrified to do now that it has been so long. I guess, I don't know, I just never make it over there or think about it when they're open. They have such weird hours. Speaking of when they're open, just kidding. I'm not going to go there first because they're closed right now until noon. Um, but I'm like terrified of the postmaster, <laughs> postmaster general, whatever his title is, the, the one who, you know, runs it because he's very intimidating and he's going to be like, you never check your PO box. I just know it. I just feel it in my bones and I want to avoid it at all costs. Anywho, I'm going to return the bottles first, I guess, and then just kind of like hang out there until they open. I'm feeling energized. What is this feel? This is like a new feeling that I haven't felt in so long. Burnout, you guys. Burnout when it comes to social media and when it comes to regular life is so real. And oftentimes I never, I know I mentioned like after Momtober was done, I mentioned over on Insta stories that I never take days off. I never know when to like hard stop work. I'm always on my phone and checking emails and just doing little things with work and feel like I'm not as present as I should be with Sydney and you know when she comes home from school or on the weekends. So I'm really gonna work towards that. Um, and I feel like the more organized and planned and thought out I am about what I'm filming when and what is going live when, um, the better I will be because I want to be way more present this holiday season and I don't want to be overwhelmed. Um, I mean, that's a life who's not overwhelmed, but you know what I mean? I just want to like try to get better about, um, you know, like hard stopping. first try and I usually have to use my, my key thing. P.O. box so <laughs> I feel so bad because I wasn't able to go to my P and not that I wasn't able to I just it slipped my mind about going to my P.O. box and so someone who sent me something it got sent back and then they resent it and I just feel terrible because I know that costs money um <laughs> and so when I was at the counter the postmaster saw I was like ripping up you know the notifications that final notice we're sending this item back and he's like staring at it and he's just very almost like a quiet no personality I don't know he's just intimidating anywho so I'm standing there just awkwardly like it's all good it got sent back but I have it now because he was thinking he needed to go get me a package anyway I'm just so awkward with interactions like that but we're all good actually while I have time why not just open this up right now since she went through all the trouble to resend me the package I feel terrible um oh, she's so sweet this is a journal um she owns her own small business I want to try it. so Julie Okay, Julie, thank you so much. She's from My Rainbow Journal. Um, oh, and it comes with like little stickers. So yeah, My Rainbow Journal, Julie, thank you. Thank you so much. I am so sorry I didn't 
go to my P.O. box and find the first time. This is supposed to be like a journal for uh, Sydney and it has things in here like um, encouraging motivational things like get uh, get moving and a happiness mindset things for Sydney to draw pictures and write about and then she can journal all she wants as well there's I feel loved and belong um, this is so good for mental health Sydney's super into journaling right now and um, making her own books and so I just love this. I am healthy and strong, just nice affirmations. Um, love that. Thank you so much, Julie, for sending this my way. Now I'm gonna go home and do some dusting and picking up as far as like the fall stuff goes and make room and be ready for Christmas. said she had the best recess ever all right so she says that her egg was in the middle not cold but not you know warm I had there's her pair what's left of the pair I had just this ice tray on one side Everything else that she ate. Oh, Sydney made a book while I was finishing up a little bit of work and she wants me to read it before I make dinner. I'm trying so hard to rush, but look, it's already dark out. Oh, dude, I feel like it's, it's, it's so dark. I remember when I said I was gonna do housework and get all these things done, well, the brand uh, work that I had to get done that took me so much longer to do than I expected it, it just sometimes in my head even though I do this all the time sometimes in my head I underestimate the time that it takes to accomplish the task so I just got it done um, and have loads of dishes to do I have not cleaned up pretty much at all so I for dinner I'm gonna just do fish sticks Sydney's asked for some haddock sticks um, and so that's what I'm going to make so I don't have to worry about cooking or anything like that. Um, and that will be nice and convenient. So it's trash night and if I don't do it now, I will forget. be raining so we need to make sure our toys are in our packages are in Let's see how dark it is on there all right sometimes I make homemade meals and sometimes I just do the bare minimum convenient meals so we have some haddock fish sticks in the oven now I'm gonna have this whole grain brown ready rice and some sliced carrots and that will be dinner All right, so Sydney's gonna have the haddock sticks, the rice and the carrots. 
I actually made myself some leftover pizza and then I'll have the rice and carrots as well because I don't eat fish. I'm just weird like that, but this is our easy dinner. What an evening. It went by incredibly fast and it was incredibly full. Um, I feel like I oftentimes get messages from you guys saying like, I don't know, you're so motivational and inspirational and how do you do it all? I don't do it all. There's always like, it's just chaos. Anyway, getting work done, letting her free play, but also giving her attention and hearing all about her day. Cooking dinner, cleaning up after dinner, eating dinner, bath time, like 20 minutes of reading a night, suggested, you know, math work. You know, you don't have to do it, but I feel guilty like other parents are doing it with their kids. I should do that with my kids. Moral of the story is, I think we're all in the same boat and <laughs> no mom is a super mom over another mom. You know, we're all just surviving and doing our best. On that note, I am going to go ahead and get into comfy pajamas, wash my face, and hit the hay. Um, save myself some editing to do in the morning, and that's fine by me. I'd rather get some sleep. So, I will be back with another video on Thursday.